So you're interacting on Facebook and you have no idea how to get more people to look at your stuff. Today we're going to talk about how to make a Facebook profile funnel. Hi and welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. I'm Jonathan. I'm here to help you find the tools to build your business online and offline. So first off, what the heck is a Facebook profile funnel? Well, a lot of people think that a Facebook profile funnel is the easiest way to start making money online. It's when you adapt a personal Facebook profile page to send somebody somewhere else. It could basically go anywhere. I've seen marketers send people to their YouTube channel, their Facebook group, their email campaign, or their marketing funnel, or many other things. So what do you have to do to make your Facebook profile funnel? Start with your cover image. Make your cover image tell whoever lands on your profile to do something. It's usually to get them to click a link. I've seen people put fake buttons on the image themselves in order to give people a call to action to click the link. And don't forget to make sure your images look good on all devices. Some devices format the image differently. So there are a few places you're gonna to wanna to place your link to wherever you're funneling people into. First, add it to your details. You can do this by clicking edit details on the left side of your profile. Go down to the website section and add in your link. Actually, if you're funneling people into another social network, you could add it under the same tab under the social links section. The second image you need to change is your featured image. Your featured image is the image that shows up below your bio on the left-hand side of your Facebook profile. Make sure that this image also tells people exactly what you want them to do. If you want people to click on a link, have arrows pointing towards the link. It's really easy to change your featured image. Just click the edit featured button on the left hand side of the page. You're going to want to add another link to the description for both images. Make sure that you tell them exactly what you want them to do in your description above the link. If you want them to click the link, tell them to click the link. Also, make sure your profile is business focused. Keep it professional. I know that we like posting pictures of our family and our kids, but if you are using Facebook for business purposes, make sure that your profile is for business. So now that you're done, your Facebook profile funnel is actually your hook. You can now prime your Facebook feed and post different hook posts to find out which one converts the best. Also remember with a Facebook profile funnel, your audience will find you as long as you are engaging. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure that you like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now that you have your profile set up, your second part is your story. Basically your story is anywhere you're sending somebody. It is where your link leads. For example, if your link leads to your Facebook group, whoever you are in that Facebook group is your story. And that's the same for like a YouTube channel or any other social network. Within your story, the right sales message will lead them to your offer. If your hook and story resonate, a certain percentage will likely buy your offer. One thing that you can't skip out on is always deliver on everything that you promise in your hook, story, and then your offer. You want people to buy from you again. If you over deliver, you will get return customers. Be the person that over delivers. So do you have a Facebook profile funnel already? If not, are you going to start one? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.